Yo, 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 what up, it's Kizzle from Kizzle's Picks, bringing you NBA player props and parlay of the day video. We got nine plays for you out of these four games here. Uh, not too bad, you guys can play them straight, parlay them together, do whatever you want to do. Uh, but uh, I'll be honest, most times the parlay won't always hit, so sometimes it's better to pick a couple and parlay them together or play them straight, you know. Uh, every leg extra in a parlay makes it so much harder to hit. So, nine-leggers, you know, I have hit them, but they're still pretty crazy odds to hit. That's why the payout's so good. But you guys already know that. So, anyways, hit me up in the comments. Hit that like button if you're new. Subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when the videos drop. And with all that shit said, Let's start the fucking video. Alright guys, so we got four games for you tonight here. Celtics Wizards. Celtics are minus 14 favorite. Which they'll probably, uh, I think that's a pretty easy one. I don't know, maybe we should play that too. Sweeten it up a little bit. I like that. I think they're going to crush a few teams now. I'm not really too confident in the Wizards here, so... I don't know, you'll see what plays I got from there in a moment, but I like that, and then I got some player props for Tatum in there. Alright, next up, we got the Spurs and the Mavericks. Luca's playing, but I'm not sure how his health is, so I'm not really touching any of his props, just because if they're up a little bit on him, he might not even play the full game. Well, fucking service over here, guys, sorry. One second. Yeah, so we're going to go with his unders there. And I don't know, I think Wemby, I like his blocks, but it's four and a half. I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to take that. I like his boards. I like his points. But uh, first game of the season versus Gafford and Lively. I'm not going to really fuck with him too much here. You'll see. I got a couple good ones in that game. Uh, definitely not Clay. Clay always starts the year cold, so we won't take him there. But that's that. Next up, we got the Thunder and the Nuggets. Uh, let's see. Denver is minus two. Over under 227 and a half. I like the over in this game. Kind of like the Thunder also. And uh, plus two. I could do that, but we got, we're going to play some props instead. But I definitely like that, man. I think the Thunder can come into Denver and beat them. Denver's been kind of struggling this uh, preseason and the end of last year. So we might end up playing that one, but that's that. Next up, we got the T-Wolves and the Kings. Uh, it's a pick em pretty much here, uh, over under 222, not really sure how I feel about any of that, uh, I was really surprised the Lakers beat the t Wolves, so, I don't know how I'm feeling about this game yet, I'm not really sure with these new look, uh, Kings here, I do have some plays in there though, that you'll see, and I guess that is that there, so if I was leaning, I would go, Celtics minus 14 there. I would do, I don't know, Spurs and Mavs. I don't really like uh, Lions or over under in that one. OKC, Denver, I'd go plus two in the over for OKC. And then I don't like nothing in the T Wolves and Sacramento game for those lines. But for our props that we like, we'll click on this here and here we go. Alright, so it's got it all in uh, little parlays, but we're not playing them that way. I mean, if you wanted to play some of them that you like, like that, we got a little Tatum parlay. I think Tatum could uh, put that chip on his shoulder, not playing in the Olympics, man, and he's shooting so good right now. I think he can win MVP, man, this year. And I kind of like uh, Buddy Heald as most improved player. Told you he'd uh, get over that pretty s easily yesterday. But then, uh, so, where's the first game here? First game. 
Oh, I went to that first. All right. Anyway, so in OKC Denver's game, we like over four and a half boards for Jalen Williams. We got over five and a half boards for SGA. I'm not sure how they're gonna do on points yet, but I know they always get rebounds and they like rebounding the ball. And they're very fast, and there'll be a lot of shots here today. And Joker can only get so many. And then we got the over 227 and a half that we talked about already, so we like that. Next up, we got Tatum going over in threes, three and a half he needs, so obviously four. I think he, I don't know what he hit the other night, eight. He's just shooting the ball really well. His release is different. Everything's different about it. He's shooting with confidence now. So, I like that. He had 10 assists the other night. I think he's going to continue to get assists here. So, we're going over 5.5. Why not? Uh, then we go to the Dallas game. I got under 5.5 boards for Gafford. And we're going to go over 7.5 assists for CP3. I think with this first team, CP should be easily getting uh, 10 assists again. So, why not? And Gafford, sometimes he doesn't rebound at all, man. You know, let's see if he plays with Lively or how they play him. But I like that play a lot there. And now we're going back with our Dante DiVincenzo, a steal again. Uh, I don't know, I think he's going to get one almost every game, dude. Until the line goes up, we're going to keep hitting it, guys. And then uh, we're going to go over two and a half threes for Ant Edwards. He's been shooting the ball ridiculously, too, uh, since the postseason and the Olympics. So we're going to ride with that there, and hopefully that happens there. So if you parlay it all together, 10 catches you, I don't know, almost 1,500. Let's see, one, two... One, four, six, three. So I'll punch that in in a minute when I get off of my other phone that I'm on. Playing some slots on that one. When we get off of that one, we will punch this in on this phone. But anyways, guys, have a great night. Do what you want with this, and let's get that money. Get it out. Peace.